zombie deer disease is a mysterious and deadly disease and is affecting deer in North America and some other countries. It could pose a threat to humans as well. Now, what is zombie deer disease? It is a type of chronic wasting disease or CWD. It affects the brain and nervous system of deer, elk, moose and other cervids. CWD is caused by abnormal proteins called prions, which are similar to the ones that cause mad cow disease in cattle. What are the symptoms of zombie deer diseases? Weight loss, abnormal behavior, drool and eventually leading to death. Geographical spread First discovered in Colorado in the 1960s, it is spread in the US and Canada. It has also been detected in Norway, Finland and South Korea as well. How Zombie Disease Spreads The disease is highly contagious. Zombie disease is transmitted through direct contact, bodily fluids, contaminated environments and the sad part is this disease has no cure or vaccine till now. It is always fatal. Why the name Zombie Deer Disease? Because the infected animals show signs of being in a zombie-like state they become less fearful of humans and predators. They wander aimlessly and lose their coordination and balance. They have a vacant stare and a dull coat. Some compare them to the zombies from the popular TV show The Walking Dead. How does the disease affect? The prions that cause the disease are misfolded proteins that affects the spinal cord and other parts of the nervous system. This leads to weakness, paralysis and seizures. Once the symptoms appear, the animals usually die within weeks or some days. Is there a vaccine? No, there is no reliable test to detect the disease in living animals. There is no effective treatment as of now. There is no vaccine to protect the animals from the infection. The zombie disease could inspire new discoveries and innovations in the fields of neurology, immunology and biotechnology. Does it affect humans? Zombie disease could spread from animals to humans, just like mad cow disease did in 1990s. But there is no evidence of human infection so far. But it could happen in the future. If people consume infected meat or come in contact with infected animals, this CWD disease could also have a negative impact on the wildlife population, the ecosystem, and the hunting industry. Can we prevent zombie disease from spreading? Yes, the best way to prevent zombie disease is to avoid contact with infected animals and their remains. Other ways are, meat should be tested for CWD before consuming, culling the infected animals, public awareness, monitoring and reporting mechanism. Excessive interference with nature by humans is resulting in many new unknown diseases. There is no cure available for this. It is time we respect and connect with nature. That's all for today. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for more interesting and informative topics.